Tunbridge showing an impressive end to the season with seven points from a possible nine in the last three games. A place in the top half of the table looking an achievable aim. Today's opponents, Farnborough, are another team looking for playoffs and are the most informed side in the division, taking more points than champions elect Yeovil at the moment. Today they seek a seventh straight win. Tunbridge have been dealt a blow with nearly the entire midfield wiped out as Jordan Higgs and Ryan Hansen's injuries picked up on Friday add to Scott Wagstaff's absentee. So Drush Papula and Lewis Gard come into the starting 11 and under-18 midfielder Felix Waring added to the bench. For Farnborough, it's two changes. CJ Fern and ex-Charlton man Ricky Holmes come into their 11, dropping out a Robinson and Mullins. So it's going to be a long throw from the uh, left-hand side for uh, Farnborough. This is certainly proving to be effective. And it's a decent long throw as well. In it goes. It'll flick on only just wide. But a decent opportunity for the visitors. Here's Terry Kynes in an unfamiliar central midfield role. But one I'm sure he enjoys playing in. Vincent. Ball into the area. Headed out. Comes to Josh Popula on the right-hand side. Here's Popula. Nice little ball from him. Could be a chance for Shields. It's charged down. Shields again. Touch of that one back out to Popula. Ball in from the right hand side. Headed out by CJ Fern. Headed back in. His shields again. Nice little ball. There's Nathan Odekanero. And a turn of chance. Oh, he's got another chance going around the keeper. He's beaten the keeper. And a great goal line clearance from CJ Fern to keep that one out. Very nearly the first goal in the game is Nathan Odekanero. Looking good. Got round the goalkeeper. Beat him, but couldn't beat the final defender. Shields floating in a corner towards the far side. Fielding is there. Cleared away though by Farnborough. Another corner, this time on the left. It's taken short. Comes back to Shields. Nice little ball into the area. Headed down towards goal. Nathan Odekunyero. Oh, what a finish. It has been coming. Nathan Odekunyero, the lone man from Elsley United, scores again. And it's Tunbridge 1, Farnborough after 17 minutes. A series of set pieces and the most recent resulting in a goal. Taken Sean, short, back to Shields, up it goes. Fielding gets his head there towards Odekunyero, got round the defender, into that far post. 1-0 Angels. Well, Farnborough won their last six games going into this game. If anything, Tumbridge the better side so far, but not a great deal in it. But it's been a strong performance. But here's a chance now for Farnborough. But Haig... Shot takes a deflection and goes wide for a corner. He goes from the right-hand side. Meade was there, and so is the Farnborough player. Again, good defending from the Tubridge back line. This one goes in again. It's another header, this time into the netting on top of the goal. They're threatening with those set pieces, but Tumbridge are standing firm so far. So the long clearance from Henley. Roderick Canero was there. Farnborough have won it. Terry Kynes has won it, though, again in midfield. This is good play from him. Got a player available to the left-hand side in the shape of Janaid Mead. Mead has got Shields just in front of him. Mead finds him. Here's Shields playing with his man. Back there towards Mead. Little left-footed ball. Short one there to Vincent. All three of them on that left-hand touchline. To good effect. Vincent out wide to Shields again. Shields trying to get around his man. Goes inside. Gets an easy effort. Oh, he's headed against his own bar. I think that was Guy Hollis, the number six. Here it goes. It was. And the attempted clearance very nearly went in. Here comes the corner again then from the left-hand side and taken well by Jack Turner, who releases quickly for Farnborough. Oh, it's a fairly good effect. And Johnny Henley comes out. And he's won the ball as Johnny Henley. But he keeps going. Oh, no, no, no Farnborough have won it. Oh, oh, no, what's happening here? Henley get back quickly. Good defending there from the right-hand side. But that's heart and mouth stuff there. Well, I suppose the result of it all is that what Johnny Henley did was very, very effective. <laughs> but uh, a little worrying at the time, but all fine in the end. You just wonder whether Farnborough will look a different side in the second half. After an impressive first half performance from Tunbridge, can Tunbridge capitalise on that? And that's good defending from Jamie Fielding, who not just wins the ball, but comes out with it as well. And a nice little ball there towards Nathan Odekunyero. Nathan Odekunyero's got a chance here to make it two. He cuts inside and he goes down. He's had a penalty. Referee does not want to know. Well, that's a 
one that certainly a lot of people want to have a look at again. Here comes Nathan Lodekinero. A little bit of contact maybe on his right foot as he goes down. But why would you go down there with only the goalkeeper to beat? Controversial decision at the start of the second half. Farnborough now trying to go forward there with Pendlebury. Finds Ricky Holmes. Farnborough possession on the right-hand side. Running at Vincent. There's a chance here from Haig. Oh, scored! Farnborough level within five minutes at the start of the second half. And Joe Haig is the man who scored. Controversy just before that with a penalty appeal turned down and perhaps a potential foul on Lewis Garden to build up as well. But that matters little because it's now 1-1. Holmes. Outside of the right boot, finding Haig on the left-hand side. Fielding making it tough for him. Just trying to go inside there is Haig. Could be an opportunity now for Matthews Lewis. Just behind the side netting. And Farnborough threatening now. There's guard, short to fielding, outside to Josh Papula. And Farnborough do well to dispossess him, it was uh, Norville Williams winning the ball there and now it's a ball through there towards Haig, Haig with a chance and Trey goes down right on the edge of the area, free kick on the edge of the area, Papula with the foul, very close to being inside the area but just outside. Yeah, the contact was inches outside the box. Very nearly a penalty. Well, two men looking at, to uh, take this. Pendlebury with it. Oh, he scored! Lovely finish from Ollie Pendlebury with the free kick. I have a feeling he scored a goal just like that, actually, in the corresponding fixture early in the season. But Farnborough lead at the midway point of the second half. And a beautifully taken free kick from Pendlebury. To the right of the wall, in off the bar... And he found the very point there that Johnny Henley couldn't stop it. Although I think actually Penny might have got a hand to it. Tunbridge have it all to do now. Vincent finds Mead on the left-hand side, trying to get past Young. Ball forward finds Velvic. Nice cross ball there to the right-hand side, fielding. Getting a lot more advanced as Tumbridge chased the game in the last few minutes. Suckler's ball into the area. Nathan Rodokiniero there with a header. It's getting closer. There is still time for Tumbridge to get something from this game. That's guard. And Shields finds Vincent. Two minutes plus stoppage time to go. There might be a little bit of that. In he goes into the area, clear away by Farnborough, shot coming in, it's charged down. The opportunity now, where's that going to go? Clear off the line, anything could have happened there. I think MacArthur might have got the last touch, in it goes there into the area. Comes back out, right foot shot. MacArthur, yes, with it. And cleared away by the Farnborough defence, off the line, very close to being an equaliser. With a six minute now of stoppage time. Five were indicated. This is probably going to be the last chance for Tumbridge from the corner from the left hand side. I suspect we'll see Johnny Henley come up for this. Here he is. So Shields puts it down. Vincent offering a short one. I suspect it'll be a longer one though. A crowded area. Everybody up for Tumbridge. And in comes the corner. It's headed away well by Farnborough. Comes to the edge of the area. It's the full-time whistle. Time has just simply run out for Tunbridge in this game. As you sensed an equaliser was happening, but it didn't happen within the 96 minutes. And it is Farnborough who've won this game to really push their playoff push. Seven wins on the bounce for them. And a first defeat in four for Tunbridge. It's finished here at the Halcyon Wealth Long Beach Stadium. Tunbridge Angels one, Farnborough two.